Dr. Fu's electromagnetic theory vectors. Here's a vector A, which we use bold when we print it. However, when we write it, we put a little arrow over the top. It has a magnitude, a length, and a direction given by that little arrow there. And we can think of it as moving to the right or to the east, A sub X, and then moving up A sub Y, east and north. And the little i hat and j hat vectors are unit vectors. Each of those have length one and they point east for the i hat and j hat points north. So you can think of this vector as a sum of two vectors, a sub x times i hat, this vector here along the horizontal, and a sub y times j hat gives you the vector a sub y, which points up this one here. So when we add the vectors, we simply put the tail on the tip of the previous one, and then we draw a line from the tail of the first one to the end here, the tip of the second one. That's vector addition, which you can see in this diagram here, we're doing that with vector A, the red one, and vector B, the blue one, where we put the tail at the tip and then go to its tip, and that's the resultant R. So here we can write the resultant as A sub X plus B sub X, taking us way out to the east, let's say here, and then your Y total would be your A sub Y plus your B sub Y to get you way up here. So think of each vector as having an X and a Y component. There's for A, Y, here's A, Y, here's A, X, here's B, X, and B, Y. So we add the X's to get all the way out to here and add the Y's and the combination gets us the resultant. To subtract a vector, we simply turn it around. Minus B would point down in the opposite direction, and then we do the same thing. Here for the components, you simply add the negative, and you're all set. So here would be our resultant, where we add the X and Y components, and here we have subtracted the X and Y components. In three dimensions, we have I hat, the unit vector pointing in the X direction, J hat and the Y, and k hat in the z direction. So we can write vectors like this. This one could represent the acceleration in physics. It has an a sub x, a sub y, a sub z. Here's just some arbitrary vector where I use uppercase. And here, this could be the force vector where force has three components in each of the one in each of the three directions.